Good day ladies and gentlemen, I'm Briare Oskarensky and welcome to the unboxing of Kuro no Kiseki, the latest installment in the Legend of Heroes series, in its Spriggan edition form. As you can see, the edition itself is quite small, but it comes with two bonuses, the first being a DLC code for Assistant Voice, and in this bubble wrap we have an acrylic stand for one of the characters. But more about them later, let's take a look at this edition that has a rather large uh, dust cover. On the front you can see here Spriggan Edition and the contents. The Cypher box, the box you are seeing now, a mini soundtrack, an art book and character data files. And if we move to the side, just a reminder of what we are looking at. And on the back, once again, the contents now with a small illustration, a few screenshots, technical details, the usual legalese, and nothing more. So, this is the box itself that has a very plain front cover and I don't know if you can make it but there is a very faint uh, The Legend of Heroes Kuro no Kiseki title here. It's not embossed, it's not in relief, it's just printed. So, and on this side another very very faint Spriggan Edition and Kuro no Kiseki title. And on the back, once again, uh, this game doesn't really want to show how it's called, but uh, it is now time to open this box, and it's quite the good edition for this. Because it slides open like this, like the device in the game. And here you see the inner box, which is quite detailed. Once again, the title, which is more readable inside. And here we have the contents. The game, of course. Character data file. Artbook. And original soundtrack. Or at least an excerpt of it. Let's start off with the game that on the front cover has, of course, the title, the developer, zero rating, and a bunch of characters. This is Van, the main character. I guess this is the girl we see in the first hour play. Sorry, I forgot her name. And a bunch of other characters that we'll see later. The spine, nothing out of the ordinary. And on the back, the same illustration seen on the rear of the box dust jacket. So, let's get inside. And here's the disc alongside, surprise, surprise, a manual, because Falcom cares. A map of the continent, which is the same as uh, Trails, but the characters are all new. There are, of course, uh, callbacks to that saga, and uh, I don't know, but I have the suspicion that some characters will reappear, will make cameos. Maybe not in this game, maybe in the following, because this is of course a Legend of Heroes uh, game and it won't end here. And here's the mini soundtrack that has a collection of characters on the front cover, spine, nothing out of the ordinary, and on the back a much more interesting illustration than on the front. Only eight tracks, and inside just the disc. 
ArcRide Solutions Office, the characters data file. That, by the way, yeah, you can see it's just glued, not bound. Oh well. A nice view of fun. And uh, okay, uh, spoiler warning. And I is in her, uh, let's say, normal outfit and, non and not the um, school uniform you see in the first uh, uh, hour play. Nice alternate costume. And they go as far as showing the souls. The most interesting detail of this, uh, this, this character. I'm joking, of course, but not quite. This is the AI that Van uses in his device. Ooh, I, ooh, ooh, I like this. Adult fee. I like this. I was saying that some of the Trails characters will appear in here. And yeah, adult fee is a good start for that. And yeah, we also have uh, characters from the Crossbell games. Yep, we do. I guess this is a lot of spoiler, unfortunately. Although it's just the characters and uh, not like bosses or enemies. I must admit that after the first hour play, I haven't played a single minute of Kuro no Kiseki. Mostly because I'm kept by Metallic Child. Play Metallic Child, it's a nice game. Ooh, and uh, well, uh, High Schooler Ren. Hmm. I like where this is going. Hopefully the, character, the returning cast uh, won't feel like simple cameos that appear and disappear uh, like they did in uh, Trails 3. Okay, generic ninja enemy. Fine. Mm, I like this one. This is the art book that on the front cover has a series of characters I don't quite recognize. And uh, yeah, the illustration continues front and back. 
and I see that the title at least uh, in English is here so uh, okay it starts from here Western reading for uh, Falcon books a brief uh, introduction of the word Not quite the Arcus, but still an Arcus. Vehicles. The Z1 car. Wheel tanks, airships. A bunch of logos. And yeah, I guess this is uh, Van's uh, Spriggan form called Grendel, but I don't quite know that. Quite the costume. movie posters I think it uh, considering that there is also a movie firm and characters associated to that there will be some relevance of that to the story okay Okay, please stop doing this one vertical and one horizontal illustration. Group them together, please. And yeah, here are the enemies and probably a few bosses. This is the DLC code, nothing really much to say. On the front you have what's inside, let's say, the DLC code, and on the back how to redeem it. The second and last bonus that came with this edition is exclusive to Amiami and is an acrylic character stand representing Elaine. There is nothing really much to say about this, just enjoy. The Spriggan edition of Kuro no Kiseki is small but well done. It focuses on the game and has a lot of background material, which is what you want for a start of a new saga. If you like Falcom and collect their stuff, I'd say totally go for this one. A first hour play of this game has been made and although I've already said I haven't played anything past that, 
there will be a review of this game. I just have to fit that in with a lot of other games that are coming out in this period. In the meantime, I hope you have enjoyed this video and you stick around for more. Briare Oskarensky, over and out.